So a couple of days ago, I was actually having a discuss with a friend about the future of photography and um, where the direction photography is actually going to this age and time. And we we're talking more about the um, the invention, the, the invention of AI. And um, you know, I never actually knew this was going to happen, but I just felt it was something worth discussing about. Then we had this discussion, and I was like, "Oh, yo, we have to." different things we could do so i was like it's either we're going to work with ai or we won't and um you know we just had a very long discussion unknowingly to me i think a day after less than 24 hours after i got um an ai brand or ai company that actually is more focused around photography which is um the lupina new sent me an email about wanting me to um you know talk about their um, product which is the Lumina New as I said <laughs> and um, guys I'm excited about this and after I got the mail I was like oh yes 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 I would love to try this um, particular application out and see how it works and it definitely took me some time to be able to like make this video that I'm about making to you <laughs> making with you guys right now because um, I wanted to know the um, nitty-gritty of using this hey hi um, with photography because I know we are heading towards the future right now. How we'd rather want to work with something that is going to, something that has actually come to stay than actually trying to be that guy or be that photographer of the past. So it is all about invention and working with the new invention. So today I'm proud to tell you guys um, I think I'm gonna say this video is sponsored by Lumina New. Okay, I need to bring this back right now. Even though this video is sponsored by Lumina New, they never actually asked me to say anything in particular about their software. Um, they literally gave me the freedom to literally like say what I think about it. And they're actually not gonna see this video until after I post this video on YouTube right now. So yeah. So guys, you're right here in Lumina New. I've imported some couple few images um from uh from a wedding anniversary i shot recently and um guys as you can see here yeah, i want to start off with um i think one of these images of the bride and um as you guys can see right here i've already done my edits from lightroom which is literally i've just done the color grade fixed the highlights and shadows and just made the image look proper so since i've done that already right now i'm literally just going to show you guys how i would actually infuse lumina new to my own workflow because i know i already have like my general workflow how i tend to like do my edits and all of that but ai is gonna make my stuff faster this is definitely going to make my workflow faster. So um, when it comes to event um, photography, like wedding photography, we know we have batch edits to do, like we have a lot of edits to do. So instead of us having to like edit the images one after the other, I think this is going to make my work faster. So guys, um, we're currently right here. I've clicked on this image, as you guys can see right here. I'm going to come down to the edit. As you guys can see, we got the catalog, which is just like in Lightroom, you have the catalog where you have all of the images. And... Um, I have presets right here. Luminar New has already imbued presets that you can actually apply to your images. But for me, I wouldn't do that because uh, I know I have a particular way I want my images to look. So, but if you're more of that kind of person that just want to play around stuff, you could definitely like play around stuff like this and you could find something you like and go ahead proceed <laughs> enjoy. So, because you can see right here, we have teal and orange, all of this kind of looks and lovely lovely looks and this is more like a preset and there's like a preset library which you could actually still purchase preset from other photographers that you actually enjoy and like and apply the preset to your images straight from luminar new so that's actually really good so for me i'm going to come down to the edits tab and the first place literally the first place or the only place i'm going to come to which is the two is actually the skin ai because i know I just want the skin to look good in my images while I send it out to like the client. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the skin AI, which we have right here. I'm going to click on the skin AI just to 
apply the adjustment to the skin. I want to soften the skin. I want to make the skin look proper. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll click on the masking because I want to select just the subject. I don't want the adjustment to be applied generally on all of the images. So I don't want the cutscenes right here to get soft or any of that. So I'm going to, we have different options when it comes to masking. You could decide to use a normal brush tool like the brush tool we have in every other application. When you click on the brush tool, you paint on heat and as you guys can see right there, you can reduce the size using the open bracket and the close bracket to reduce size. But if you don't want to use the shortcut, you also have the option right here to reduce the size. So, but instead of me having to do that, I'm just going to erase it here. Yeah. Just going to erase everything I just did right here. Instead of me having to go through the process of painting, this is AI we're talking about right here. I don't need to use the painting. We have linear gradient, radio gradient, but gradient. <laughs> so I got a max AI right here. Why not just use the AI to just make my workflow way faster? I'm going to click on the max AI and leave it to do it in, um, its stuff. As you guys can see right here, it's, it's doing what it's meant to do. <laughs> so the AI is working and I think it depends on how fast your computer is. Um, this is how fast you're going to like, um, the stuff is going to process. So I just, guys, this is less than five seconds or something. <laughs> it's already done. So all I have to do right here is just to select which of the AI do I want to like, where do I want this to be applied to. So I'm going to click on the human. So I want it to apply on just my subject right here. And after clicking on this, you could actually see what you've clicked on by coming back by clicking the back and checking for the max action so this is the max action right here once i clean that i could show what the maxing has done so it has literally selected my subject and guys this is almost perfect selection instead of me having to go through and you know painting and painting and painting i already selected my subject so i'm going to disable that and then i won't come back to the adjustments okay so the adjustment this time now i want to apply how much of the skin smoothing that i want in this image so i'm going to increase it very high for this one because i know i want you guys to be able to see what this um lumina new would do to your image so and i don't know youtube compression and all of that so i'm going to increase this to about 72 percent guys looking at it from afar i can see already what lumina new has done to this image like look at how soft and smooth the skin is ignore the blemish we're having right here um i could decide to take that out if i want to but like look at the skin right here now let me show you the before and the after what this lumina new has actually done so look at this boom this is the before and this is the after goodness gracious and it still keeps the detail of the subject skin like look at that like this just saved me about 30 minutes of edits <laughs> so this is so cool guys so you have other stuff you want to do if you want to apply the shine remover you could decide to do that but for me i wouldn't do that i just feel like i just want just the skin to get softened but for me on a normal day if i'm going to use this i wouldn't take it all the way down to 70 percent because i feel like that's going way overboard but i want you guys to be able to see what the lumina new can actually do so right here i can see that i could if you click on the skin defect AI, i think it's still going to just like take it up a notch a little bit more to make it much more softer but i really don't see much than it actually does so gonna click that off so once i've done this as i said earlier i am literally showing you guys how the how i would infuse the lumina new into my workflow for me to use lumina new at this current stage or this point in time i am only going to work with the skinny AI for now i know you could do other stuff if it's like more like a outdoor kind of image where you want to like change the sky and all of that you know what yeah guys for this tutorial i'm going to post i'm going to like work on another image and show you guys how that works so since i've applied the skinny high i could decide to go back to my catalog the very very interesting stuff about lumina new is the adjustment you've done on one particular image you copy and apply to every other image so i could decide to come back to that image i'm going to click um, right click and actually go down to adjustments copy and if you don't want to go through that long process you could also do control or oh sorry command c on mac and control c on pc and command v to apply so i'm going to pick on every other image right here as you guys can see i just want to pick this 
images and I'm going to apply it adjustment boom I have applied the um, edit the skin edit I did on the first image on all of these images but mind you guys because here we know it's um it's it's not just a copy and paste kind of situation you still have to go through your image and fix the AI you understand because every every image you, sh you shoot is definitely going to be different from probably the composition the way the subject is standing and also it's not going to be a perfect kind of copy and paste situation so i'm going to come back to the edits you have the tools we have the edits so i'm going to come back to the edit as you guys can see right here the skinny high has been applied but if i'm to do before after you won't really see much of a difference in the image right now for now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to the masking Go and click on the masking go down to the max action if i click on show he's going to show you that previous masking he did on the other image the first image we did you can see the old mask the red max bar is literally showing on all of the image right here so i want to fix that after i'm going to come back to the masking right now i'm going to click on the clear i want to clear off the mask i need to clear it because the images aren't looking the same so i'm going to click on clear it's going to clear off the previous mark i'm going to click on the max ai and allow it to do its masking once i've done that then i could decide to click on show and it's done the masking for this particular image so i am done with this image because the same adjustments applied to the previous one has been has been applied to this one so i'm going to click on zoom in i'm just going to zoom in and guys let's see the before and after this is the before and here's the after skin looking soft and looking good i'm going to go down to another image right here let's go to this one i'm going to click on it edit again um if you can find your tools the tools are just right here as you guys can see and i'm going to click on the edit so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go to the max ai and allow the ai to max my subject and select my subject for me again and once it's done that i am done with this image so all i have to do is clear my marks apply new marks clear my marks apply new marks and this is like this is this is the future right here like less stress less everything so i'm clicking on the human you can go back just so you're sure that it actually selected what you wanted to select you click on the show marks and boom you can see it selected the marks perfectly guys perfectly so boom i can go back to my adjustments i'm going to zoom in just so you guys can see it has applied the masking to my subject look at that right there this is the before and this is the after this is the before and here's the after guys this is as easy as abc this is how i am going to use illumina new for my own particular workflow and guys i am definitely going to enjoy using this application and guess what guys i have um i have a discount code for you guys if you feel like you really want to use this application for your own workflow also um i have the discount code right there which is mac badge 10 you can apply it to when you're trying to like um purchase this um purchase this application and it's going to give you a 10 percent discount and um guys this is this is literally the first video i'm going to make with this luminar new i know i would actually find more reasons or more ways to actually use this or infuse it into my workflow so um if you feel like you enjoyed this video or you've learned something new from this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon to get notified when i post new videos so i'll be seeing you guys on the next one